they are really chomping at the bits and ready to get going. Um, want to be training more and more than we're doing, um, which is great. You know, obviously it's a long season, so we're trying to get ourselves back in slowly. But I think there's a real desire and a hunger amongst the players to come and bring, um, you know, start the season, which is great. And I think for me as well, if we compare it to the same time as last year in terms of the level, obviously we were a brand new coaching staff, new team, trying to adapt to a new playing style. Um, and the team's just come in at such a higher level than we were at last year. So, you know, I think there's just such a much, much higher ceiling on, on what we can do um, this year. So I think there's that as well, which has been really, really pleasing to see from the team. So I'm just very excited about what's going to come this season. Nicole, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. Yeah, a little bit of an echo. Um, I was very pleased with the way that all the players handled themselves this offseason. Everyone came in ticking and firing on all cylinders, fit, sharp. Um, and there's just a different um, motivation and hunger um, that I'm noticing within the group. There's energy towards competing and wanting to improve and just that that thirst to better themselves and to better the group. And I feel like we just kept it fluid and and flowed in the off season where we, where we left off in the fall series and post-tournament were picking right up from there and so now we're just moving forward and you know nothing was lost only gained so you know honestly we have so much um potential talent mixed with existing talent right now and I feel like there's no ceiling in this group right now because it kind of reminds me of back in my day in like 2016 flash when there was kind of those players that will be on the national team one day and they're in that developmental stage where they're really, really becoming something special in this league. And so it's a really fun part of being a leader in this group and also seeing that growth each day. And again, that hunger to improve and get better and they have personal goals for themselves. And obviously we have team goals as well. So um, to name someone that I'm excited about, I mean, pretty much everyone, but um, you know, I think Paige is, you know, going to be an important piece for us. And, you know, there's other players that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on once they kind of finish with school and our draftees and stuff like that. But honestly, every single player I can say this, like hands down, has improved themselves over the offseason and came in with just something more special about them. So I'm excited. You know, I think being able for the media and for the spectators and the fans to see what we were trying to do last year and maybe just our timing was just cut short. I think it's about harnessing that energy of the players have come in with a better level of understanding in terms of how we want to play. Um, we certainly, you know, have just got started with showing what we can do in with our sort of high, highly attractive attacking possession style that we want to try and play. Um, so I think it's using that, the energy that the players are bringing in to really drive that and challenge them not just physically, but also mentally with that tactical element of how we want to play and using that energy that they bring in order to get the most out of them cognitively, physiologically, mechanically throughout the training session. The big thing for us is not to rush it. As you alluded to, we have a longer pre-season this year. Um, we've got 10 weeks. You know, I, I don't think in all of my experience of playing football, I've ever had a 10-week pre-season, um, but it's actually quite a nice luxury. So we can start to build in slowly we can start to layer up some of our content in terms of our tactical content that we're looking to do as well as our technical so that we're not placing too much of a high demand on the players straight away. Um, and then we can build up going into the Challenge Cup of the season. But, you know, it's, it's a strange sort of double peak to it because we've got players that are coming in at different levels um, and there's going to be an element where we want to peak for the Challenge Cup. And then there's also, you know, we've got to make sure that we're fit and fresh for the end of the season as well, for when playoffs come around in November. So it's important for us to try and get that balance without burning the players out. So we're working very much to try and make sure that we're fit and fresh for the Challenge Cup, but also we are able to compete um, and to be in a really good position to challenge for the title at the end of the season. We don't have to go to the bubble. Um, that was, you know, a really tough six weeks mentally, emotionally and physically. Um, but we like that competitive spirit of a, of a tournament. And I think especially in the squad who doesn't have a ton of playoff experience, I think that Challenge Cup tournament style where there's, you know, one and done and knockout, I think that's very beneficial to our group because then we're going to do it on the back end when we get to playoffs and it's like that one and done mentality. So it's kind of like that pre-training of the playoffs before we go into regular season and playoffs. So it's, it's good for us position where we've got a good depth in, in the goalkeeper position and we want to make sure that, um, you know, the goalkeepers are competing for their spots, especially with Kaylin 
going and being gone for the Olympics and being away in national team camp for quite a long duration this year. So for us right now, it's about making sure that we've got a really competitive goalkeeping environment, which we're really pleased with the introduction and the work of our new goalkeeping coach, Daniel Ball, uh, and the work that he's doing in order to create that. And then now it's about making sure that we have goalkeepers that can compete, can be a good support for Kaylin that can challenge Kaylin for her position, can keep Kaylin on her toes and make sure that every position that we've got on the field is as competitive as it can be so that no one's, you know, walking into the squad or the game thinking that their place is taken for granted. So, you know, I think it's important for us to have that comp competition and, ev and depth in every position so that players are really pushing each other, uh, challenging each other so that that's how we can propel the team forward. Yeah, I think for us, obviously, the draft has been a in a strange one this year with you know players coming in not necessarily at the start but coming in throughout the year um so we know that we've got a couple of draftees coming in um in june and you know it, that's a really good time if any to bring in some new players with the end of the season in europe and it being a, coming in the middle of our season and with the olympics so i think we're always looking for opportunities to strengthen our roster um and you know i think when those opportunities uh, uh, present themselves then we can uh, s certainly harness that um, and take advantage of that. So, um, if that's a if that's an answer for you, I think um, the important thing is, you know, we are working with all of our midfield players um, to make sure that again we've got that competition and we've got that depth um, to make sure that we have can put out the best team that we can and the most competitive in in the midfield. Um, I think you know you're bang on with those qualities that you alluded to with those players that are able to you know, maintain possession and um, McCall as well, not only is she trucking people, but she's also good on the ball and able to possess and help us, you know, build that possession and move forward and connect to the defence with the with the offence, which is important. So we've got other players that are in there competing in for those spots. And I think for us now, it's about setting the environment where all the players are challenged and they're competing for their spaces and they're competing for their spots um, and looking to create that midfield that's going to be able to be possession orientated, but also has got a little bit of bite both defensively and offensively as well. One thing that I would like more from our midfield this year is for our ability to create and also for our midfielders to be on the score sheet as well, not just allowing our forwards to do it. So that's the challenge that's going to be put to the players. And it's especially for those forward roles is who's going to step up and be really crucial and critical in front of goal for us to be able to score and assist. And then defensively, who's going to be able to win the ball back. Um, take away the space from the opposition and for to be good in possession as well, not to turn it back over when we win it.